Okay, so I'm just going to run through this most recent of the sequences, um, Dogs and Cats for Strength. Um, strengthens the whole body really, although on the, on the, the leaflet I've said um, just hands, wrists and core, but the spine gets quite a good strengthening process and also the leg stretches so it does an awful lot and I've found it has really had an effect on me so I thought I'd run through it so you make sure that you know the moves and can get the best out of it. So we start with a nice slow stretch up, aligning, lengthening, connecting to the unity, mind, body, spirit, and release into forward bend. Slow and relax, grow into it. Three slow, steady, ujjayi breaths. Walk into down dog. Shoulders stretching, pressure on the wrists, but at an angle. Lift left leg up, let the right heel settle as close to the ground as it's willing to go. Draw nose towards the keep lifting and slowly lower. Other side. Right leg. Let the left heel relax down, squeeze back, nose to knee, keep lifting and release back. Just walk the feet back a little step so that we can move in to the plank. Quite tough at first this one, try and hold your plank, right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder, and down, into up dog, settle into cobra, release the feet, sit back on the heels, head down, arms stretching forward. Take your time to let the seat sink back, stretching the spine. Head down, three breaths. Slowly up. To our cobra, tuck toes under, up dog, right hand, left shoulder, and back, into down dog, same again, this time let's do left hand first, left hand, right shoulder. Bit easier in the up dog and down into cat position. Three cat movements. Wrists under shoulders. You'll notice that this pressure on the wrists and the hands is changing as you move from posture to posture, taking it to different angles. This is number one. Out breath, in breath, lift head and tail. Five, 
last one. Back into child posture. This time releasing the hands so wrists and hands can rest. Three breaths. Slowly and roll. Once more in the cat position. This time we're going to bring a little back bend in, still pressure on wrist. You might want to rock a little back and forth, just feeling that pressure moving through the wrists and the hands into the fingers. We're stretching out left foot, lift it horizontal, bend the knee, all the weight onto left hand, right foot up, clasp around the foot, three breaths as you breathe in, expand the chest, straighten the steadying arm. And then as you breathe out, lift the foot up and away. Looking straight ahead of you. Two more. Slowly release. Steady up. Balance. Align. Other foot. Stretch out. Bend the knee. This time we're resting on right foot, lifting left hand, clasping round that right foot. Lift, out breath. <clears throat> Up and away. Two more. Slowly release down, turn and ways on your mat, might want a little padding for your knee and we're going to stretch out, kneeling on the right, so I'm stretching out left leg, breathing in, stretching up. So this is just a kneeling triangle, spread to shoulder level. Everything is exactly the same as when you do standing triangle. Lift of the in-breath, shift the rib cage out to the left, rotate the arms. If you make contact with the floor, extra balance point. No real pressure on that hand though. Three breaths. Stretch up. Ease back. And release. That outstretch, the foot of the outstretched leg, just let it go easy, wherever it's comfortable. But now, we're stretching the heel. Might need to take it out a little further. I'm going to go a little deeper this time into extended triangle. Lift up. Stretch into it. Left hand leading the way. Just trace the line of the leg. And then when you run out of leg, keep stretching ahead of the foot. Top arm, if it will, let it connect with your big toe. Three breaths. This time we're releasing the arm down, walking back to the middle. 
take the hands out to the right. Just going to get rid of my padding. Feet together. Hands level into down dog. Squeeze back on the heel. Raise the right leg up, 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 nose to me, and release down. Other side, up it goes, and release down. Knees to the floor. Coming back. And we're doing the other side. So now I'm kneeling out to the right, left knee on the floor. Breath in, stretch up. Breath out to open. Soften the shoulders. Lift the rib cage. Shift out to the right. And release down. Three breaths. Stretch up, draw back. Now we've got the foot at an angle, toes pointing up to the ceiling. If you're not comfortable or your balance is off, just let the foot relax down, let it be wherever it's comfortable. Right, left arm up, stretch into it, slide away. Reaching the floor, keep sliding out or creeping out. Top arm coming down, trying to aim towards the foot, doesn't matter if you don't get there. Three breaths. Coming into our down dog. I did this a little bit wrong on the other side. I lifted the legs. I shouldn't have done. I should have lifted the hands. But we'll do it right this time. Squeeze back on the heels. Edge the feet together. Left hand to right shoulder. Right hand to left shoulder. Now, we're lifting, right leg up, 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 and release down, left leg, up, 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 and release down, walk hands and feet together, Relax in forward bend. Several breaths. Shake out the hands. Wriggle the fingers. Roll the wrists. Relax for three breaths. In the knees, slowly unroll. Feet nearly together and parallel. Slow breath in to lift. Alignment. Let the arms ease back as far as they're able to go and then release to the side. Well, I, I like to finish with the Om Shanti Mantra here, so I'm going to just do it with you once. Om 
shanti, shanti, shanti. Oh. Just makes you feel calm, collected, ready for the day. Om Shanti. Thank you.